Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick little comparison here between Nokia 8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus. So we're going to start them at the same time. See the speed and camera performance of the latest uh, Nokia running Android. Uh, much more flagship level handset uh, for a more affordable price. So we're gonna see how it does compare here because Nokia does big up the uh, camera on the the uh, Nokia 8 so it could be something nice here uh, the actual boot up you can see is going towards the S8 still uh, even though we are running obviously Samsung software I notice that on the Nokia 8 you do also get a uh, like active display here which is quite nice uh, it's a little bit dim, you know, I think they could have made it a little bit brighter, but it's nice touch nevertheless uh, and does compete with what Samsung's offering as well. Uh, so uh, we can just have a look here at the speed then of the handset, uh, looking at the basic stuff first. I think we have closed everything down and we can just start off here and see. So running Snapdragon 835 versus Exynos 8895. And so far it looks very snappy here. I told you, I told you about Samsung. You know, Samsung devices are nice, but they still look laggy to me compared to uh, what you're getting with some other phones. And let's try the camera. So you can see, you see that uh, animation is completely not necessary on the Samsung because uh, nobody uses Bigsby. Uh, so you can see, you know, the Nokia 8 is killing the S8 Plus here when it comes to the speed. Wow, I didn't even expect this. I was thinking it's going to be much closer here, but very nice performance on the Nokia. How does it compare in terms of the games? going to open up a few here it's like the uh, S8 Plus is like really slow compared to the Nokia I mean it's like uh, it's running last gen processor oh maybe this time it's woken up a little bit this one looks uh, like it was the S8 Plus there a bit more Oh, again, you can see Nokia 8. I mean, Nokia 8 is taking no prisoners tonight. Look at that. That is fantastic performance. Hopefully, the uh, multitasking will be pretty good as well. Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, even better given the price of the handset. Just going to quickly do a speed test here. So you can see the benchmark. I've seen the SA do better. So I do take that with a grain of salt. Wow. Nokia 8. It's been taking its Weetabix. That's for sure. I mean, it's making the S8 look like an amateur here. I'm truly shocked. That is pretty awesome performance on every count. Uh, what else can we test? We can have a look at the multitasking here. So, 4 gigs of RAM here versus. Uh, I think 4 gigs of RAM as well. Obviously, the Note 8 does come with 6 gigs of RAM. Uh, but you can see here nice comparable stuff, nothing too different. Oh, so I clicked twice there. I don't think there's much difference here in terms of your basic apps. I mean, you got to give hats off to. HMD or whoever they are for 
really you know making a stable software here as you can see let's just get the games up again so maybe a little bit more snappy here on the right to go back into the game but they did keep it in memory which is good and again perfect you know perfect stuff here I mean this is probably the best performance I've seen of a new kind of budget flagship easily as comparable as the um, OnePlus 5 phone uh, obviously another area I was actually interested in is the camera performance and you know I've got to say I was also very impressed uh, in this actual particular aspect I'd say in terms of the good light, maybe the S8 Plus still has the slight advantage, but when it comes to your low light, I noticed some definite improvements here uh, on uh, Nokia's latest flagship. Uh, the images just looked uh, a lot cleaner and, you know, more kind of, uh, just more nicer on the eyes, really. Uh, so I wasn't actually expecting that, so props where props is due. Uh, but I think in terms of the good light, as I did say, uh, I think I prefer the natural kind of uh, bucket that you do get on the S8 Plus. You do obviously get a bucket mode on the Nokia 8, but like a lot of the uh, modes on these phones, it does look a little bit artificial. It doesn't really handle the background quite as good, I don't think, as the natural kind of effect that you do get. So... Uh, very nice performance though overall, uh, they both obviously support 4K video recording which nowadays you know I don't really notice too much of a difference, they all seem to do it pretty well you know in terms of stabilization and in terms of the zoom uh, so uh, I don't think uh, there's a massive difference here but you know maybe those of you who are more eagle eyed can see uh, you know if there is uh, a little bit of a difference Either way, I think they both captured ducks pretty well, and that's all I'm interested in. Uh, so, you know, overall, I think uh, HMD has delivered a fantastic little phone here, which will probably go under the radar for most people, you know, who think that Nokia is kind of dead. But, you know, definitely uh, consider it, you know, especially as it's going to be getting your, uh, Noc your Android uh, Oreo update, I've just read, uh, quite soon as well. Hopefully, they'll be pushing that out and keeping the phone up to date. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here between uh, Nokia 8 and S8 Plus. If you've got any questions, do let me know. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.